What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Crypt13 and in today's video I wanted to talk about Ito constellations and talk about their viability, how much they actually increase Ito's quality of life and his damage output. And before we start, you know, pulling for constellations on five star characters, I cannot in good faith encourage people to do that. So only do so if you have the money and the disposable income to do that so with that out of the way i am also on twitch and i also have a discord so go ahead and check those out in the description below so let's get into this ito constellations let's go ahead and start with c1 so obviously you know i don't have ito so pretend that these constellations are ito but of course you know on the screen there will be a description of what the actual constellation is so starting with c1 ito the way that this works is after using your elemental burst ito will instantly gain two stacks of superlative super strength and then after after one second, he will gain one sack every half second for 1.5 seconds. So at a very high level, this constellation is going to give you five sacks of superlative super strength after 2.5 seconds passes at the moment you cast your elemental burst. So there are a couple of caveats that you kind of have to think about with this constellation because it makes it better depending on how this works. All of the characters, right, there's an animation that occurs with your elemental burst and that animation is actually, it's actually quite lengthy. It's a one second to two seconds depending on the character and you know from the trailers that we saw ito's animation for his elemental burst casting is pretty short i want to say it's probably like one second so if this effect goes into effect literally upon pressing your elemental burst then the the effect where he gains one stack after one second every half second for 1.5 seconds if that begins right at the moment you press your elemental burst this means that Right upon casting your elemental burst, you're going to have full stacks of superlative super strength for Arataki Ito. This means that you do not need to gain stacks by using his normal attacks before you transition into his charge attacks. So his C1 kind of cuts out the need to gain stacks from his normal attacks. So if that's how this constellation actually works, then you know that's a pretty nice quality of life and maybe dps increase because you cut out the normal attack combo because most of ito's damage comes from his charge attack combo the uh, the effect where you gain one stack every half second for 1.5 seconds those stacks are going to be gained as soon as you start your charge attack combo theoretically so you know by the time you hit your second or third charge attack you're going to get enough stacks to do your fourth and then subsequently your fifth and then maybe if ushi gets hit maybe you'll get your sixth and then you'll do six charge slashes into the final charge slash so that's what the c1 does hopefully right it cuts out the need to gain stacks right when you pop your elemental burst arataki c2 so after using your elemental burst each party member whose element is geo will decrease his elemental burst cooldown by 1.5 seconds and restore six energy for arataki ito a maximum of 4.5 seconds cooldown can be decreased and 18 energy is able to be restored this way so after some very intensive math dividing four and a half by one and a half and 18 by six give me a second oh okay okay got it so you need three geo characters to get max benefit from this okay whether or not this includes ito himself well you know the description of this says party member ito is one of your party members so it's definitely going to include himself so this means you have to run a triple geo comp in order to get max benefit from this constellation but other than that it's pretty self-explanatory it is going to allow you to use your elemental burst a lot more frequently so right now his elemental burst is an 18 second cooldown with an energy cost of 70 if you maximize this 18 seconds becomes 13.5 seconds and then 70 energy becomes 52 energy so that's pretty nice that is pretty nice really just a lot of quality of life and allows you to stay in your burst a lot more often way more often than before cuts out a lot of the energy particles that you need to create for arataki ito so right when arataki ito comes out and if it turns out that he's having some energy problems then this c2 might end up being pretty good for him i think it's, it's just going to depend as well you know depending on the the enemy matchup depending on the enemy matchup you might get more particles than others so it's just gonna vary between who you're fighting really c3 it just increases your elemental skill level by three nothing really to talk about there c4 when the raging oni king state which is your elemental burst state is over all nearby party members gain 20 percent defense and 20 percent attack for 10 seconds so let's take a look at this wording again all nearby party members 
So when miHoYo uses this wording, this also includes the character itself. So our Chaki Ito is also going to get a 20% defense and 20% attack for 10 seconds, but he really can't make use of this because after his elemental burst ends, you you really don't want to use his physical attacks. You want to go into your other characters and, you know, reset their elemental skills and go into their rotation so right if you're running goro or albedo you want to switch into them and cast their abilities but this is going to be good if you're running albedo and goro because this is just a straight up buff for them 20 percent defense is pretty nice so right albedo's e skill is scaled purely off of defense so you're going to get a nice damage boost there and albedo's e skill is a snapshot if you don't know what a snapshot is it basically just takes the defense stat at the moment of casting and that's how the damage is determined we don't know if goro is also going to snapshot or not but same thing there it's going to improve his damage by by a bit because goro's elemental burst also scales off of defense so 20 percent extra defense is super nice for these guys so this constellation kind of just busts your teammates if you're going to be running albedo and goro on the team which i think is a really good idea i think those two characters are really good to to run on our taki ito teams we just have to wait and see if that's actually going to be the best because there's no really great and reliable source of shield if you run these three together but like i just said this doesn't really do anything for ito though because he's going to be out of his elemental burst and it only lasts 10 seconds your burst once you get to c4 is only 13.5 seconds cooldown so he gets pretty much no benefit of course you're you know you're free to play however you want if you just want to keep Artaki Ito on the field and just deal physical damage that's totally up to you he'll he'll get some benefit there this constellation is like screaming to me like Mihoyo is literally talking to me telling me that you should run Albedo and Goro on your Ito teams this is what I'm getting from this constellation Mihoyo is like telepathically talking to me telling you telling me that you should run Albedo and Goro on his team but you know Sometimes, you know, developers might design characters to be built and played one way. It ultimately comes down to player creativity that eventually finds the most optimal ways to play a character. So even though maybe this constellation is telling us to run Albedo and Goro on Ito teams, maybe at the end of the day when he actually comes out, that's not actually going to be the best. Again, we'll just have to wait and see. Now let's talk about C6, his final constellation, because C5 just increases your elemental burst level by three. So C6 is going to increase Ito's charge attack crit damage by 70%. Additionally, when he uses his special charge attack move, the Arataki Kesagiri, he has a 50% chance not to consume any stacks of superlative super strength. So do note that this only applies to his charge attacks, the crit damage at least. And then the 50% chance to not consume stacks only applies to his special charge attack, which makes sense because that's the only way to consume stacks. But anyway, 70% crit damage is a, uh, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, that's a lot. That's a lot of crit damage, right? That's, that's more than a crit damage hat. And that is a lot of subsets as well. If you want to think of it, if you want to think of it in that way. And then the 50% chance to not consume stacks of superlative super strength. You can kind of consider this as a 1.5 times increase to the number of stacks that Arataki Ito can have. So. So right for example on average if you have five stacks that can become seven maybe eight if you have six stacks then that becomes nine if you have four stacks that becomes six so on and so forth you can cut you just think of it as a 1.5 times increase in the number of stacks but since it is 50 percent chance it is random and you might not always get it it's literally a coin flip this extra crit damage is non-conditional as well which makes this c6 super good it's just free crit damage on your charge attacks you don't need to do anything in order to make this crit damage there so it's uh it's pretty nice but you know again i can't say in good faith that 70 percent crit damage is worth it it's i can't tell you that it's worth spending hundreds of dollars on this character but if you have disposable income then you do you this is this is nice i'm just gonna say it i don't think it's worth it it's not worth hundreds of dollars don't do it only if you are a rich madman should you do this so yeah you know crit damage is is very nice right and it it very much synergizes with the fact that his ascension stat is crit rate so you really want to build as much crit rate as you can because he's getting so much crit damage here if you have your Arataki Ito at C6. Now, I wanted to contextualize that extra 70% crit damage on our charge attacks. So I went ahead and did a little bit of math here to see just exactly how much extra damage we're getting from that extra crit damage. And so before we take a look at this, you just have to really quickly understand how I did my math. So, so first off, we are using a level 80 Ito, who is using level 8 talents, as well as he's using the new 4P's Husk of Opulent Dreams. And then for his artifacts, he's running a Defense Sands, a Geo Damage Goblet, and a crit rate circlet 
depending on the weapon. So since we're taking a look at Stone Thresher, we're running crit rate. We also have Goro support where we are running three Geo characters and his talent level is level eight. And then I also include the Geo Resonance, which has extra damage bonus and also Geo Shred. So when we take a look at the math here and when we take a look at it from a practical rotation standpoint, so I estimated that his combo based off of trailer footage at C0 would look something like two normal attack combos, 10 charge slashes and two final charge slashes. What this combo does is it allows you to get five stacks of superlative super strength, go into your charge attacks, get another set of sacks, and then do another set of special charge attacks. By this time, you are probably going to run out of your elemental burst. So when we take a look at this, I have both Ito, Goro, and Zhongli, and then Ito C6, Goro, and Zhongli. And of course, our normal attacks don't get any extra crit damage, so they remain unchanged. But our two charge attacks, they see a change, and the percent difference is actually only about 22%, a lot lower than I thought, given that we're getting 70% extra crit damage. You can go ahead and take a look at the visualization if you want, but there's really not much to talk about here. The big part here is that it's only about a 22% increase, of course, when we're taking a look at it from the perspective of the stats that I was using. You know, I also have some subsets in this calculation. I have about five rolls of crit damage and five rolls of crit rate. So this is your average run of the mill, medium investment build for an Arataki Ito at level 80. So of course, you know, this will change if you decide to get him up to level 90, or if you decide to ascend him to the final ascension phase or give him some extra talent levels. But this is a pretty good idea on how much that 70% extra crit damage would give you. Now if we remove Zhongli and we just have Ito and Goro and some other flex Geo character so that we can still retain all of Goro's buffs, you'll notice that the percent difference is still exactly the same. So adding or removing Zhongli's Geo Shred does not change the actual percent. Of course it'll change the actual damage number but not the percentage. Now this percent difference is actually going to change depending on the weapon that you use and this should be an obvious given because different weapons will give you different kinds of substats. Now when we run this on the white blind, we end up having a 31.25% damage difference. A little bit more because it makes sense the white blind has no extra crit stats, so we're going to get a better overall damage increase with a C6 Ito holding a white blind. And then using an R5 Serpent Spine, we see about 24.46, so very close to the Stone Thresher that we saw earlier up top. Only about, what, 2% difference. Now, and then I went ahead and added a C6 Goro, which gives you even more crit damage, and the change here is now 35 0.92%. C6 Goro gives you about 40% extra crit damage, depending on how many Geo characters that you have. So with three Geo characters, we'll have 40% increase in crit damage. Okay, now the last thing that Mihoyo seems to be nudging us towards, and what they're saying is that his optimal DPS route seems to be doing as many continuous charge slashes as possible before doing the charge final slash. But, you know, is that really going to be the optimal DPS rotation? Because the damage on his charge slash is very high scaling like it's insanely high scaling is it going to be better to just like get one sack and then do a final charge attack and then just get one sack and do a final charge attack is it going to be better to just spam the final charge attack as much as possible that's kind of a question that we won't know the answer to until he comes out and we kind of test his frame data and you know his attack speed and see what gives us better damage in um within one rotation of his elemental burst his 11 second duration and then we also have to think about aoe because his final charge attack definitely has more and better aoe than his continuous charge slashes because the charge slashes are kind of vertical so they don't really go to the side of ito but it has pretty good range in front of him so you know aoe is another thing that we kind of have to think about here but Again, you know, these are all very minute optimizations. So if you just want to play how he was designed, then, you know, by all means, just get the max number of stacks and spend them. So yeah, that's Arataki Ito's constellations. Uh, all six of his constellations. That's pretty much all that I have for you guys in this video today. I hope that this explanation on his constellations helped you decide if you want to get Arataki Ito constellations. I hope that it helped you out. And if it did, don't forget to leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, I will see you guys later.